very dear crochet friends today a new tutorial for you this very nice bag made with um, some strands of different yarn work together worsted weight yarn lace weight yarn wool and cotton together so that you can wear your nice bag in every season I like it so much. I will do a tutorial uh, as well for this kind of button. Do you see? Very nice. I will do a specific tutorial for that. So now let's get started. Bag like that. I did two types. The first one is in cotton lace yarn very nice for the summer and the other one is with wool yarn worsted weight yarn for the winter uh, but of course the method for doing this bag is always the same so that you can choose small or big as you like so if you are ready we can start this tutorial is really very easy and you can get your bag in any size one now in the second chain from the hook two single crochet one and two into the same stitch now go ahead with one single crochet only in each one of the next stitches Okay, now I am just one stitch before the end. In this last stitch, single crochet, two, one and two. Now I have to go over to the other side and into the same stitch, the last one, but on the other side, this is the first one two single crochet again one and two so totally four now single crochet one in each one of the next stitches Just one stitch before the end in this last stitch two single crochet one and two and now slip stitch to join into the first single crochet of this round first round is completed now round two chain one enter the very first stitch and single crochet two now single crochet one in each one of the next stitches stop just when you are at the turning area before the last stitch
Okay, I am at the turning area. Do you remember here is my last stitch where I put four single crochet into the first one, single crochet one, into the second one, single crochet two, into the third one, single crochet two, into the fourth one, single crochet one. Now continue single crochet one in each one of the next stitches. I am at the end of the uh, second round. I have only two stitches left. The two single crochet I put into the last stitch of the previous round. Now into the first one single crochet one, into the second one single crochet two, one and two, and now slip stitch to join into the first single crochet of this round, not into the chain, into the first single crochet slip stitch to join second round is completed round number three chain one and now single crochet one in each one of the next stitches into the very first stitch single crochet one and now single crochet one in every stitch of this round. Only one single crochet in each one of the stitches below. Working like that without increasing, you see that your work is starting to bend with the shape of a bag. At the end of round three, slip stitch to join into the first single crochet of this round. Round number three is completed. Round four and five, repeat what you did at round three, chain one, and now one single crochet in each one of the stitches below. Before starting round Around number seven, I have to change my crochet hook size from seven millimeters to eight millimeters. Start with chain one into the very first stitch single crochet one. Yarn over into the same very first stitch double crochet one. Skip the next stitch into the next one, repeat, single crochet one, double crochet one. Repeat the same, skip the next stitch into the next one, single crochet one, double crochet one. Skip the next into the next one, single crochet one, double crochet one. This is the Suzette stitch. 
Go ahead like that all the way around. At the end of this row, I don't slip stitch into the first single crochet to join, but into the chain this time. Slip stitch into the first chain, starting chain. To start the next round, now chain one. Enter the first single crochet below and single crochet one. Yarn over into the same single crochet below, double crochet one. Skip the double crochet below into the single crochet, single crochet one, double crochet one. Skip the next stitch into the next one, repeat, single crochet one, double crochet one. Go ahead like that all the way around and for the next rounds. I worked with Suset stitch till round number 16. Of course, you can do so many rounds you like uh, for having a bag so high as you like. Now a different stitch pattern, so very easy. Chain one, enter the very first single crochet of this round and single crochet one. Now single crochet one in every stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, slip stitch to join into the first single crochet, like that. And now you can cut the yarn and fasten it off. This is the wrong side of my bag because here I closed all the rounds. This will be the wrong side, this will be the right side of my back. And now put two stitch markers on the wrong side to define the, ar the area you have to work now for your bag opening. Put the, your crochet hook into the stitch with the first stitch marker. Pull the yarn through the stitch, chain one. Enter again the very first stitch and single crochet one, like that. Now single crochet one in each one of the next stitches all across the row. 
till you get to the second stitch marker. When you get to the last stitch, the stitch with uh, your stitch marker, one single crochet to finish this row and now start the second row. Chain one and turn and now single crochet one in each one of the next stitches till you get to the other stitch marker. At the end of this second row, single crochet one into the last stitch. Ready for the next row. Uh, from the next row and for the following ones, I will do one decrease at the beginning of my row and one decrease at the end of each row. Chain one and turn. Skip the very first stitch going to the next one and single crochet one. So I skipped one stitch, this is my first decrease. Now single crochet one in each one of the next stitches. You have to stop just two stitches before the end. Two stitches before the end, skip the first one, go into the next one and single crochet one. That's your second decrease at the end of each row. Next row, chain one and turn and do the same. Skip the first stitch, go into the second and single crochet one. And of course you have to do exactly the same at the end of each row. At the end of this row, look, you have a one and two stitches. The chain does not count as a stitch, it's just a starting one. So I have only two stitches to work. I will skip the first one into the second one, single crochet one. In this way, I did my decrease at the beginning of this row and one decrease at the end of the same row. Go ahead like that and repeat that decreasing for each row. So since I did the first two decreasing at the beginning and one at the end, I worked totally eight rows decreasing always decreasing one time at the at the beginning one time at the end and now i have six stitch totally next row next row chain one and turn enter again the very first stitch and single crochet one into the next one single crochet one now chain two one and two skip the next two stitches into the next one single crochet one and then you have just one stitch left to be worked with one single crochet and you have created your button hole. And now the final edging all around the bag opening. So I will start here from the first row I did. 
this one, you see the first row, second, third, fourth, and so on. So I will insert my hook here into the first row. I will take my yarn. I'm working now with uh, four strands of gray because the purple was over. Through the stitches, pull through, chain one, enter again the very first stitch and single crochet one. Now single crochet one in each row below. This is the first row, the second row, so into the second, my second single crochet, the third one. Be careful not to skip any row. The third, the fourth one. Fourth one, the fifth one. The sixth one and so on till you get to the top here till you get to this corner okay you see the first edge is done i uh, get to the corner here into the co uh, till i get to the corner i did 10 single crochet now again into the same corner enter again and second single crochet so i have 11. now i have one two single crochet two chains two single crochet enter the first single crochet and single crochet one into the second single crochet single crochet one now into the chain two space two single crochet one and two and now two single crochet left one and two into these ones one and two okay now here i have the second corner enter the corner which is the first corresponding to the first row and single crochet two now i know that i have to cro to do other nine single crochet plus this first two eleven for this edge till i get to the end so go ahead working your nine single crochet okay i did 11 single crochet here over there now into this corner where the first row is beginning you see enter this corner and slip stitch and now slip stitch in each one of the next stitches here below in this way Go ahead like that, all across the row. Okay, slip stitch into the last stitch. And now you see 
the space between this corner, between the last stitch and the first row, enter this little space and slip stitch again. And now slip stitch to join into the first single crochet corresponding to the first row. No. No. From here. Okay. And slip stitch. Now cut the yarn. Pull it through like that. And cover the yarn excess passing it through the stitch through the stitches here in the internal side of your back this way passing through the stitches like that When you think it's enough, of course, you can cut the yarn excess. Just one passage. Okay, now I will cut the excess like that. And the bag is completed. Okay, now my bag handle. Insert your hook into the corner where you did the first slip stitch. Pull the yarn through the stitch chain one, enter again the same stitch and single crochet one. Now from here, chain so many times you need for your bag handle. I did totally 90 chains so now I have to join my chain to the other side so enter into the first stitch here you see and slip stitch to join the chain Slip stitch or single crochet one, it's the same in this way. Into the next stitch, one single crochet. Now turn your work and now work one single crochet in each one of the chains below till you get to the other side. Okay, I am quite at the end of my chain, into the last chain, single crochet one again. And now I have to join into the next stitch below by doing one single crochet. Now chain one and turn your work and restart again the same one single crochet in each one of the stitches below 
in this way you can go ahead so many times you like so that you can have a bag handle uh, so wide as you need so two times three four five times so many you need for your handle every time you are at the end of your handle you will join with one single crochet into the next stitch of the back base okay I am at the end of my third row so my handle now is ready the last single crochet into the last stitch below now I have to fix into the same stitch where I did my second single crochet to join enter again and slip stitch to finally join like that now I can cut the yarn and fasten it off chain one remove the crochet hook and now using a smaller crochet hook size I will hide this excess under the internal stitches of my work like that Okay, now the final edging around the bag, chain 3, skip one stitch into the next one, single crochet one, again repeat chain 3, skip one stitch into the next, next one, single crochet one. That's all for my work.